Hey, what's up guys? Boba Rail here, and today I've got another update video for Vigor 2.2. And get this guys, this update didn't break the game! But that's enough celebrating, let's jump right into these patch notes. So the first and most gleaming thing you're going to notice is the starting round screen now looks very different. You have Quick Play, a featured map, which is the snow version of Battery Drog, and then there's Coming Soon. Now this Coming Soon is something that I'll address in a second, but first a lot of people are upset about the removal of Map Select, and I totally understand why. The intent in removing it was that it would shorten matchmaking and reduce teaming. Honestly, matchmaking was very rarely over a minute and teaming hasn't really been affected. To be honest, I think most teamers in Vigor aren't readying up at the same time, but joining parties right before the round starts in the boost screen. You see, ooh, this guy has a good gun, maybe I should team with him. And just like that, suddenly you have an ADR and a G3SG teaming together in solos. Now for the coming soon tab. This is a new mode that's going to be called Shootout, and it's a 4-6 to six person free-for-all on a small map with respawning. This will likely come at the start of Season 3, but we'll have to wait and see. But the partners have had access to this game mode f through the playtest environment for almost a month now, so I'm sure Chris will have a video on this very soon. So on top of this, the switch to the matchmaking I mentioned before has now the featured map of Snow Drug. Original Drug, aka the version without snow, has been pulled from the map rotation and has been replaced by this snow remake. At first, this was a bit of a shocker to me, as truly I would like to have both, but I will say that the snow version feels really nice and may even play better than the original. There's much less bush camping on this one as most bushes are transparent. I'm not sure what the strongest level of Blizzard is, or how common they are in comparison to the map being sunny, but overall this remake feels very similar in overall gameplay to the real one just with a new aesthetic. Other than the new map, there's not much else in the way of content this update, but that's okay. We have a new leaderboard system in the shelter stats, and we also have a new weapon stats tab, which are the effective range and damage. Now, these weapon stats seem to be a bit off, however, as the Outlander either has 100 or 150 health, and these weapon damages don't add up to the bullets to kill. This is shown where the Thompson reads as a 31 damage per shot, but it's a 6 shot kill, meaning the player would have somewhere between 156 and 186 health. But this isn't consistent, so overall I would just ignore the damage stat. The second one, though, is the effective range, and this is a reading of how far the bullet can travel before its applied damage drop-off kicks in. So the VSS in this case will be a two-shot kill, up to 390 meters, and then the damage reduction will be brought down to a three-shot. Now, on top of these standard bullet values, there's also new icons underneath each weapon. This will indicate if the gun has stagger, their different firing modes, if they have a sight, if they are considered heavy, or if they are silenced. Beyond these additions, the only other things that were changed were bug fixes. You'll notice that the sights on the SKS and the AURH bar are properly aligned now, shown in the center of the red X here. But unfortunately, the M21 has somehow been knocked back out of alignment, so if you're sniping, use the H bar and avoid the M21. Some weapons, such as the SKS, also did less damage than intended last update, so it was a 4-shot kill and now should be brought down to a 2- or 3-shot kill depending on your engagement range. And finally, to finish out this video, the fix we've all been waiting for, the left shoulder camera is now working properly, as well as the prone camera. Some tweaks last update led to unintended bugs where your character would walk in front of your crosshair, but as you can see, this is now fixed, and your character can now move freely and shoot around left-hand corners. Now, there are a good bit of smaller bug fixes that I left out, such as Russian localization and animation tweaks, so as usual, I'll leave the link to the real patch notes down below in the description. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, it's greatly appreciated, and I'll catch you all in the next one.